Hi everyone! Today I will be doing a video on how I do color block nails. This is how the design looks like and let me show you how I did it. This video may be slightly more lengthy because I am not only talking about the nail design but also color blocking in general. The items I used are the base coat, pink and blue nail polish and the top coat. I also used nail tape, scotch tape and a pair of scissors. Apply your base coat to protect your natural nails. Then I apply the blue nail polish. For me, I feel that when using two colours, it is better to see which shade is darker and which is lighter. Put the lighter colour as a base colour so it can be more obvious and seen. If not, the darker colour may cover or camouflage it. In my case, both colours are light and sort of pastel colours, so it doesn't really make a huge difference. I cut the tape into smaller pieces to paste onto my nail. I stick the tape to my hand a few times to make it less sticky. Using tape, I cover where I want to keep the original base colour. The more parts you cover, the more your base colour will be retained. The less you cover, you will have more of your second colour. I repeat this tape process for the rest of my nails. I decided to make the design different by changing the pattern. For example, some could be horizontal and others vertical against the nail. It is personal preference and you can do which design you fancy. Then, I paint over the second colour. If you have a steady hand, you do not need to use tape. You can use a striper to draw and paint it. To use a striper, Outline the area and paint it inside. Practice makes perfect. To see a more in-depth video of how I use a striper, you may refer to this video. I decided to apply a second coat of pink nail polish just because I felt that one coat was too thin. When the nail polish have semi-dried, remove the tape. You do not need your nail polish to be very wet nor do you need it to be very dry. This will just help to get sharp and clean lines instead of smudging your nail polish. This is the colour blocking design. For something extra, I added nail tape. I cut the nail tape into pieces and pasted it onto my nail against the line at the border. I feel that it is better to make the tape slightly longer than the size of your nail so you can cut it afterwards to fit the length. If it is too short, it cannot be reversed unless you cut another piece of tape. For this, it is important to press the nail tape to your nail so that it will stick and not come off. If the nail tape is too long, just take a scissors and trim it off. Please be careful when trimming, you don't want to accidentally hurt yourself. Next, put a top coat to seal in the design and to give your nails a shine. Then, take a cotton pad or a q-tip to remove any excess mess. And that's it for the actual video. From here onwards are just some of my thoughts and opinions on the colour block trend. When the colour block trend first came out, I didn't really appreciate it. I thought it looked different and funny when the colours clashed together. Soon, I grew used to it and started to appreciate the trend more. I feel that it really depends on what colours you use, whether the colours clash or if the colours are too bright and so on. For colour blocking, there is no harm in trying something new and going bold. It probably depends on your style or character for what colours you choose. But for colour blocking, you can make the colours clash. If you want to stay on the safe side, just use the same colour family. By that, I mean different shades of blue, say a royal blue versus a light baby blue. Of course, not everyone can appreciate this trend, but try to make it more pleasant by finding the best colour combinations with colours you like. I also feel that it would be good not to wear more than 4 colours. If not, it may become too eye-catching 
and difficult to focus on just one thing. This is just a nail design, but it does add color to your nails. If you want to play it down, add in neutral colors. This is the result of your design. Feel free to leave any comments below and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!